Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a custom kit. This one is the Darth Maul Brickheads that actually was made by my local Lego store um, owner. So let's take a quick look at the little box that it comes in. So it has a Bricksville sticker on it and then a little print out of what you're buying, which says Darth Maul. And it's designed by Eric Lyons, who owns Bricksville in Oklahoma City. Retails for $30, which I think is fair for a custom Brickheads. Um, I think that it's really cool. Um, this was a gift from my sister for Christmas, and so um, I did not pur personally purchase it, but there is a QR code to scan so you can download the instructions. The instructions are very good. Any PDF Lego instruction these days for custom stuff generally is really, really nice. And um, overall, I think it's cool. Before we go into him, though, I think one of the things that makes this cool is Lego is probably not ever going to do a Clone Wars style Darth Maul. And this one is based after the Clone Wars Cybertronic Legs Darth Maul, the shirtless version. Um, and we might get a Darth Maul in the future, but I think it'll be very classic episode one Darth Maul if we do. So um, taking a look at this super neat little brick heads here, I think that the way that, that he designed the horns was very, very cool. Um, it definitely works as well as the little horns on the sides for the ears. And I think brickheads are relatively easy to like customize because the build technique is the same. You just kind of decorate the outsides. But um, I think that he did a good job for the Cybertronic legs there. I think that those look really nice. Um, I like the clear elements added as well. And then he has his Darth Maul, like his little Zabrik tattoos or his Sith tattoos, which I think are kind of hard to cre recreate in Lego form for brickheads. I think he did a really good job of overall for it. And then he has his double bladed lightsaber as well. Um, overall, pretty impressive. And I do want to compare him to a normal brick heads just so you can see size and the way that it's built. I think that it really holds up nicely. Here he is compared to Obi-Wan. I figured that would be a fitting counterpart to um, Darth Maul for comparison. And he's perfectly in scale. I think he's going to look so nice in my display. And so thank you to my sister for this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.